What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix when you open up an app on your big display and then when you close the phone and open it up on your small display, it kind of refreshes and starts you over in that app. And I'll show you real quick in here. So I'm just gonna tap, I'm gonna open up the uh, Daily Mail app for instance. And we'll let this load up real quick. I'm gonna go into, we'll just say uh, this article right here. I'm gonna close my phone. And when I open it on this display, right? You can see it's not open on this display. It completely went back to my home screen. I'm gonna go into read, I'm gonna go into daily mail. Now it does put me into the article, but it basically closes that app and I have to like go back into it. It's a pain in the butt. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix that because it doesn't happen when you're on the smaller display and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna open up uh, the Google Play Store. I have the Google Play Store open. When I open, it automatically opens on this display. So I'm gonna show you how to do the reverse. It's very, very simple and it's a trick you should know, especially if you're going to the Galaxy Z Fold 3 or you just picked up a Galaxy Z Fold 2 or maybe you didn't even know this. So let's jump into it. So swipe down, we'll go home first. Swipe down from the top, hit the gear in the top right to go to settings. Now, once you're in settings, what you wanna do is you wanna go down until you hit display. So tap on display and in here, you're gonna go down again until you see Continue apps on cover screen. So tap on that and you can see it shows you exactly right here what it means. It means it's gonna choose which apps you want to continue using on the cover screen when you close your phone. So I'm gonna choose some apps here. Maybe I want Amazon to do that. Maybe I want the, we'll go back in here. I'll go, I think I have Twitter already set up this way because I use Twitter a lot. Twitter, yep, I already have that. We'll do the Daily Mail app just because I, I showed you that earlier. And you can do this with basically any app. Some apps you can't, you can see like crypto.com, it says can't change settings for this app. So some apps are unable to switch between the two displays. Once you're done, you know, doing the apps that you want, you can also search at the top for apps that you want. Hit your home button. We're just gonna close all the apps real quick on here. And when I open up the Daily Mail app, you'll see it's open. When I close my phone, it automatically shows on there. I don't need to turn my display on and I don't need to go back into the app. And the same thing happens on the Twitter app, which I've already set it up for. I'll open up Twitter. And when I close my screen, automatically shows Twitter I'm able to use it. Now, that could cause an issue with some apps. I wanna throw this out there too, is that sometimes when you're using this big display, and I think this is why Samsung kind of turned that feature off or made you go into the settings and turn it off, is because you might have an app open and you're like, oh, I'm looking at something, you know, I'm gonna close my phone, I'm good to go, I wanna just go do whatever. You might accidentally touch something on the screen with your leg or, you know, something like that. So I think that's why Samsung has that feature automatically turned off and it makes you go into the settings to turn it off. So just be aware that, you know, when you do close your phone now, the app will automatically open if you have it turned on in those settings that I showed you. So quick way, just tap the power button and your screen will go off. But it is something to know. You might not want to turn this on for every app, but just some apps that you know you will, uh, you know, turn the screen off afterwards. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. And we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.